Welcome to Anna Solution Zone. Today, in this video, I'm going to basically show you how to bypass a remote management lock on any Apple Silicon MacBook or MacBook with T to chip set. You can also remove MDM profile from any MacBook by following the same steps mentioned in this video. If you want to remove the MDM profile from your MacBook, then you have to reinstall the Mac OS and get it on remote management lock screen. Before reinstalling the Mac OS, please make sure that Find My Mac is turned off. I have a special discount promo code to all my viewers. You will instantly get 10 to 15% discount after applying this promo code. The promo code is ANA6 to 9. Now, let's start the video. At first, turn off the device completely and put the device into recovery mode. It's slightly different when entering into the Mac OS recovery on MacBook with T to chip set. There are three different key combinations to put the device into recovery mode. The first one is hold the Command and R key as soon as you turn on your device until you see the Apple logo on the screen. To reinstall the latest version of Mac OS that was installed on your device. The second one is hold the Option Command and R key as soon as you turn on your device until you see globe icon on the screen. To upgrade the latest version of Mac OS that is compatible with your device. The third one is hold the Shift Option Command and R key as soon as you turn on your device until you see the Apple logo on the screen. To reinstall the version of Mac OS that came with your device or the closest version still available. Choose any one on three key combinations as per your requirements. Here, I'm using a MacBook M1 Pro to enter into the Mac OS recovery mode. All you have to do is simply hold down the power key until you see the recovery startup options. Then release it. At this stage, click on Options and click on Continue. Click on Next Arrow icon. As you can see, we're in the Mac OS recovery, and the latest OS on there is Sequoia. Now, make sure that your Mac is connected to the Wi-Fi. After that, select the Safari browser and click on Continue. Here, what you need to do is type in I remove dot tools forward slash code. Then hit on enter. Here, you will see this command string. For those of you who are not able to open the Safari browser, what you have to do is type this command manually in the terminal, which does happen quite a lot on the Mac with T to chip sets. Now, click on copy to clipboard. Select Safari and click on quit Safari. So now, go on to utilities and click on terminal. And in the terminal, go on to edit. Simply click on paste. But if you got a MacBook with T to chip set and Safari is not opening, just simply type this command manually in the terminal. And click on enter.
At this stage, you will see. Congratulations, your device is supported message in the terminal. And it will open up the payment page. Simply go to the payment page and click on open payment page. It will redirect into the payment page, similar to this one. Here, fill out all the necessary fields. And enter in a six to nine in the promo code section. Then click on apply promo code. After that, you will instantly get 10 to 15% discounts. Choose the suitable payment options and tick on accept agreement. Then click on buy now. Your device will be registered instantly in the iRemove tool server as soon as you make the payment. You can also contact me on Telegram for registration. Once the ordering process is complete, close the payment browser, paste and execute the previously copied command in the terminal by using command and V. Or you can also manually type it and hit on enter. Now the software will verify it and initiate the MDM bypass process. After completion, you will receive. We have successfully bypassed MDM on your device message, along with user credentials in the terminal. If you come across the errors like a user account has been found on your device, or we are unable to detect the installed macOS system on your device in the terminal during the bypass process, then simply reinstall the macOS and try again all the process from the beginning. Now, go to Apple icon at the top left corner and click on restart. Now, wait for the device to be turned on. Here, enter the password that was shown in the terminal. That is, 1111, and then hit on enter. Here, click on not now. Boom! The remote management lock screen has been bypassed successfully. Now click on continue. Click on setup later. Click on skip. Again, click on continue. And click on setup later. Untick enable ask Siri. And click on continue. Click on setup touch ID later. Click on continue. Click on continue. Click on continue. Again, click on continue. Now, open up the settings. Click on about. You can see, it's macOS Sequoia. And the MDM lock has been removed successfully. So again, if you are new to it, do exactly what I have done in this video. You will be able to get your MacBook free from remote management. If you faced any issues during the bypass process, then please feel free to message me on Telegram. I will try my best to solve your issues. Please do like, comment, share, and subscribe to this channel if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.